This is one of the most amazing stories of the Old Testament. God opens up the Red Sea, lets his people through, and closes the sea over their captors, freeing his people forever. But beyond the miracle in this story is a powerful lesson for the children of God. If you want to be free, you need to leave some things behind. When the sea closed behind the Israelites, the first thing swept away was the Egyptian army. The Egyptians held the Israelites in slavery for hundreds of years and were even murdering the Israelite children to keep the population from growing. When God closed the waters of the Red Sea, he didn't just destroy the army. He put a barrier between his children and their slave masters. When we give our hearts to Jesus, God wants us to leave our own slavery behind, so to speak. Slavery to sin. A sin is what separated us from God, but God sent his son Jesus to pay for our sins on the cross. You know, sin is, is all of those things that God does not want us to do, but we do anyway. When we give our life to Jesus, we need to let go of the things that separate us from God. Just like the Israelites, we need to put a barrier between the past and us. We need to pack lightly and leave our sin out of the suitcase. Leaving sin behind is easier said than done. Unlike the Israelites who believe it or not, frequently complained that they were better off as slaves in Egypt, we do not have a natural barrier like the Red Sea, to separate us from our sin. Our world is filled with sin. You know, temptation comes at us from friends, from television, from music, from the internet, Snapchat, and a hundred places more. We don't get the luxury of walking away and never looking back. We are traveling day after day surrounded by sin. And God knows this, and he knows we're going to stumble and fall. The question is, will we surrender ourselves back into slavery to sin or constantly fight to leave sin behind? God has promised we will not face more temptation than we can handle. He has promised to give us the strength to say no and to walk away from sin. But each and every time we face that temptation, we need to claim that strength and ask God to shut the door behind us. From time to time, we all fail. We open our suitcase and we put a sin inside. But when we stumble, God has promised to forgive us and to help us keep fighting. And if you're struggling with a sin today, let me encourage you to stop where you are, empty the suitcase and let God put your sins behind you. Now, as our memory verse says, trust in the Lord and he will make your path straight. Okay, well, how about we close? with a quick prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to pay the price for our sin. Forgive us for the times that we carry sin with us and please help us to get rid of sin and other things that keep us from knowing you. In Jesus name and everyone said, amen.